Hello guys, welcome, welcome to the fourth part of the Docker tutorial series. In the previous video, we have seen how to deploy a static website as a container. And in this part, we are going to deploy a Node.js app as container. Isn't it exciting? So let's get started. So as of now, I already have a example app on, of Node.js. So, uh, here is my node app. Uh, so I already have the skill and then created. Now uh, what we need to do is we need to have a Docker file. So uh, for this tutorial, I have already written a Docker file. This is how it looks like. Let's go through the Docker file. First, we are uh, getting the base image of node from uh, Alpine and then we are creating app directory. Then we are changing the work directory. We are saying that what all commands or what all things we are going to run that should be run inside this SRC app. Now we are copying the package.json file which have the required uh, packages to be installed. So we are copying this in SRC app directory. Then after copying this, we are installing uh, the packages using npm install. Then we are copying the rest of the source code from the current directory to the so, uh, to the destination that is SRC app. Uh, one uh, one thing to note here is that we are copying the package.json file first and then we are installing the packages and then uh, and then we are copying the rest of the code why we are not copying the whole code at once here this is because uh, when we run npm install it will install certain packages and uh, and uh, as you know uh, when we create an image it creates a layer for each particular steps that is for uh, for this particular step it will create a layer for this particular step it will create a layer so docker create layers for every step and whenever there is a change in any particular layer then it start uh, building it otherwise it skips all those steps and uh, uh, so it checks in the cache and if there is any change then it uh, tries to build it again so um, generally package.json uh, do not require to be modified again and again so uh, our source code is required to be modified again and again so uh, for this these steps would be constant most of the times so uh, these layers would be consistent and won't get changed hence it would be uh, all these layers would be picked up from the cache and won't be built again so the part that is going to be built again and again is this part so uh, that is why we are copying the source code at the uh, at the like uh, second or the third last of the all the steps so uh, in the next uh, in the next layer what we are doing is we are exposing the port to run the application on port uh, 3000 and then uh, we are running the command npm start to run the app so this is about the docker file Let's check anything uh, if anything is running on localhost colon 3000. So as of now there is nothing running. Now let's go ahead and build the image. The command is docker build minus t. Let's give it the name node app and the version v1. And that is it. Let's go ahead and run it. So it has successfully built see uh, I already have this so it picked up from the cache so it is using cache the thing which I have already explained just now so it is uh, using all these things from cache and uh, say if we change anything in the source this won't be picked up from cache let's go ahead and try changing it so let's go ahead uh, and put some exclamation mark Build, let's build it again <coughs> excuse me 
So, copying the code is not picked up from the cache and the rest of the part is picked up from the cache. So, our image is ready. Uh, we have the image ready now we can run it <clears throat> so we are exposing the port 80 uh, let's expose the 3000 port Our container is up and running. Let's go ahead and check it. Hooray! We are done with our container running our node application. That is it for this part. Hope you enjoyed it. Do subscribe and like us. Thanks for watching.